Kindly sit down. Thank you. To my lovely partner, Shileto Kaneleto Bansenia, who hails from uh, Valenzuela, Bulacan. <laughs> Public Works and Highway Secretary Mark Millar, Senator Bongo, members of the House of Representatives, Bulacan Governor Daniel Fernando, Bulacan Vice Governor Wilhelmino C. Alvarado, Bulacan Mayor Virgil Menises, Pande Bulacan Mayor Enrico Roque and other city mayors and municipalities, Department of Education, Santa Rosan, Regional Director May Clar, Public School District Supervisor Teresita Alquisa, Makasama ko sa gobyerno. Uh, magandang hapon sa inyo lang. Uh, it's uh, a nice feeling to be back. I remember I was campaigning and uh, we had a very limited time. We were always in a hurry. But uh, I made the promise sa inyo, Tagabulacan, that there will rise some itong mga national high schools para sa mga anak ninyo. I am pleased to join you today for the simultaneous inauguration of these school buildings at General Luna, General Gregorio del Pilar Integrated School and Virginia Ramirez Cruz High School. Let me recognize the important role of the Department of Education and the Department of Public Works and Highway and the local government in the successful planning and construction of this new school building. Your collective efforts in this project has been crucial in creating a more conducive, inclusive, and resident learning environment for students of Bulacan. Our investment in education infrastructure affirms our continuing commitment to promote the right of the people to quality and accessible education at all levels. On this note, I reiterate the need to complete government structures projects on time and if possible, I am directing all concerned agencies to ensure the least inconvenience to the public during construction while ensuring strict adherence to the highest standards of honesty, integrity, and prevent corruption. Once again, I thank the local government for their support. I assure you that the government is exerting all efforts to go full throttle in this COVID-19 vaccination program to ensure the safety of students before the resumption of the face-to-face -face learning. I truly appreciate the patience and understanding of the learner, parents, teachers in your locality. We are hopeful that these newly built classrooms will provide a more conducive learning environment even as we cope with the new normal. A good education is a valuable gift we can proudly pass on to succeeding generations of Filipinos. Let us join hands in developing the full potential of your youth as bearers of our nation's sustainable future. Maraming salamat po.